Hi there, it's Lee here for iMindBlocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix um, quite a common problem. So the problem is that the Ethereum Mist wallet will not fully synchronize. So you might have been using it, say the previous day, for example, and it was all working fine. The next time you try and use it, it comes up like this, and then it just kind of seems to get stuck. Um, I've actually had this problem uh, this morning and um, I've been through this once or twice before and now I know actually how to fix it. So I'm just gonna share that with you today uh, in this video, of course. So I've already shared it with um, one other person who said that they had exactly the same problem and it worked for them, so hopefully this will work for you. So if you're finding that your wallet looks like this, it's connecting to peers, but it just seems to be stuck on a block and instead of getting synchronized, it's just sort of falling further and further behind. I'll show you how to fix it. So what you wanna do is just actually close the actual Ethereum application. So you can just right click and then go to close window. Then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your uh, local drive. So that's your C drive, select that. Then you wanna to go to the users folder. And then whichever your computer name is, you wanna select that folder. So in this case, it's Lee for mine. Then you want to go and select the app data folder. This is actually a hidden folder. So if you can't see it, um, change the view settings and then show hidden folders. So next it's app data, then roaming. And then you want to go to the Ethereum folder. So you see several folders in here. A key store, by the way, is a really important folder. So don't touch that. That's where your actual wallet files are saved. The folder that you actually want to be working with uh, and what we actually want to do is we actually want to delete the folder. So you just want to select the chain data folder and then just press delete. Uh, most likely it will say it's too big for the recycle bin. Are you sure you want to delete it? And you just want to confirm that you do want to delete the entire chain data folder. That's going to go through and then we can just close that window now. Then you want to go back to wherever your Ethereum wallet is um, saved. I've just got the icon on the desktop here. And we're just gonna fire it up again. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna reinitialize. It's gonna see that you haven't got any of the blockchain at all. Um, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna change mode and it's gonna go into like a fast synchronized mode. And that means that the actual blockchain for Ethereum is gonna be downloaded much, much faster. Uh, when I last checked, um, I think it was actually fully resynchronized in less than an hour. So depending on your internet connection, you could um, should get the same sort of results. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let it fully synchronized. And then what we'll do is we'll just come back in a moment and I'll just show you that, you know, that it's obviously all gone through as expected. Okay, so just a little clip here. I just wanted to show you what the actual synchronization process looks like. You can obviously see how fast it's uh, downloading the chain structure and also the individual blocks. So you can see it's really sort of uh, whipping through them. So uh, it shouldn't take too long and we should have a fully synchronized blockchain. Okay, so the Ethereum wallet has been running for about 10 minutes now and you can see it's really still continuing to download the actual blocks at a pretty rapid rate. Uh, we're just coming up almost at a halfway mark now and like I said, that's just been in 10 minutes. Obviously, depending on your internet connection, this will be a little bit faster or a little bit slower. But you can see that we're certainly making progress. I just opened up the task manager as well just to so show you the actual uh, internet connection speeds and data rates um, that I'm getting um, and you maybe can use that as a basis to work out exactly how fast or how long yours will take. Um, so at the moment um, I think we're probably going to take another about 15 minutes um, and in all that means the actual complete resynchronization has taken about 25 minutes in total for me. So not too long really. So I'm just going to leave that running um, until it completes and then we'll just wrap up from there. Okay, so we're just on the final section now. Uh, it's been about 35 minutes um, to just about get synchronized. So we're just on the last little bit now and then the actual application should open up as normal and uh, be fully synchronized. Okay, so we're just downloading the last little piece now. Um, there's 1,264 blocks left. Um, it has slowed down quite considerably uh, compared to the previous download, um, but hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer now. Okay, so we're finally synchronized. Those last thousand blocks did take quite a while, um, at least as much time as the first two million blocks. So that delayed us by quite a bit, um, so much so in fact that I actually took a little break during this video, uh, but now we're back. So 
You can see the actual Ethereum wallet is up to date, we're synchronized, um, and it's all basically running in normal working order. So that concludes this video. I just wanted to show you exactly what that process was. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, as always, you can leave those in the comments area below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a like. Uh, and if you like this style of video or crypto, Bitcoin mining and all that sort of stuff, uh, be sure to subscribe because I upload videos like this uh, fairly frequently and uh, I'd appreciate to have you as part of the community. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.